Well, obviously, what we got here is a chair. It's a chair, one of the most famous chairs you'll ever see. Oh, really? Abraham Lincoln sat on it. Why he was in the White House. OK. Well, I'm sure he sat in a lot of chairs. <laughs> it uh, come from a set of uh, chairs that uh, was in the White House while he was president. I'm asking $2,000 for the chair, and that's the lowest amount of money I'm going to take for the chair. That is really neat. This was in the White House? From the formal dining room. OK. That's pretty interesting. I mean, you don't think about it now, but the furniture was a big deal back then. It was really, really it expensive. Was. The things people, you know, well-off people did, they spent money on furniture and silverware and luxury items around the house, because there was no TV at night, so people entertained every night. So those things were very important. Right. Presidential memorabilia sells for good money, but Abraham Lincoln, that's some money. So if we can actually tie this chair to Abraham Lincoln, there is value here, serious value. You got documentation for yes. this, or what do you have? One letter is from the White House telling the individual that they didn't want the chairs there because they had too much furniture. But then I have the original newspaper clipping where Robert Todd Lincoln donated them to a uh, girls' school up in Vermont. OK. Um, do you have any other proof that it's his, or? No. OK. How much were you looking to get out of it? Uh, 2000 $2,000. Doesn't sound out of the realm of possibility. But my problem is your paperwork. Do you mind if I call someone and take a look at him? He runs the Clark County Museum system here. He's a, an amazing historian. And he could probably tell me everything about him. I have um, no problem with that. I'm welcoming the fact for somebody to come and look at the chair. Any expert that they want to bring in, bring them on. I really want this to be Abraham Lincoln's chair, but I'm a little concerned over his paperwork, so I called in my friend Mark to look at this thing. There's a possibility that Abraham Lincoln's butt touched this thing. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are high points in every chair's life, I guess. When you're dealing with presidents of the United States, nobody has a bigger name than Abraham Lincoln. Anything related to Abraham Lincoln is hugely popular. So. Do you have any paperwork that goes along with this? Yes. Have this over here. Ah, let's take a look here. Ah, OK. That's a well-known photograph. This is one of Matthew Brady's photographs of Lincoln. It shows this decorative element right here on the side. And so when you look at this, you can see this decorative element is not the same as this one. So obviously, this chair isn't this chair. And the interesting thing is the chair that's in this photo is one that Matthew Brady owned, yeah. not one that, that Lincoln owned. Had this been a match to this, it would have been highly unlikely it was ever in the White House. Now, I tried to pull up every interior, either drawing or photograph from the Lincoln period that I could find. and. I didn't find this chair in any of them. What I couldn't find is any photographic proof or drawing proof. As I read this, we don't have anything from Lincoln or from the White House. The time period is right on the chairs, but there's not enough for me to say that these are ones that were used in the White House. Thanks. Sorry about that. Thanks, man. And thank, thank you. you. That thank is you. very interesting to see. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it. You need to have something that actually shows ownership by Abraham Lincoln. It's not going to be easy. But if he can do that, he's got a really wonderful piece. Well, um, if I buy something off a customer, I got to resell it. And when I resell it, it's got to be beyond a reasonable doubt what I'm selling is what I'm selling. It's just the way I do business, but at this point, um, I can't make you an offer. So thanks for coming in, but I just can't do thanks it. Thanks for looking at it. Uh, no problem. You expect these things. Everything can't be what you want it to be. But I believe I brought in enough evidence here to prove that this chair is from the White House. <laughs>